Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Christine and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and help my channel grow, guys. It's been uh, it's gonna be a year on the 24th since I've been on YouTube and I still haven't gotten 20, uh, a thousand subscribers. So please, please help me reach that, at least. <laughs> also, you can donate to my channel. I've been having problems uploading, I don't know. Maybe you guys have seen my other videos. So I definitely do need to upgrade some stuff here Starting by my Wi-Fi and maybe getting a camera so I can like, you know, do downloads on my video. Maybe that'll be faster I don't know Whatever So I would link everything but I will link that below, you know <clears throat> Also my PayPal my you know my PayPal for the donations my Instagram because I do readings there too and my Twitter if you'd like Also, I would like to apologize because I have allergies. So I have like these little dis I want to say disgusting, but that's talking down on myself. I have these little pimples. It's not cute. Okay, I know. But hey, we're not here for that. I have to do the readings. So Gemini, last uh, your September reading was um, <clears throat> new sheriff in town. Because Capricorn 8th house, you had a lot of activity. We, You still have. We all have a lot of activity. Capricorn is a cardinal sign, right? So we're all feeling it pretty much very very much except now we have jupiter and saturn direct so whew, we still have a load of you know a whole bunch of other planets in retrograde but jupiter and saturn are <clears throat> really significant the biggest planets so size wise and you know size wise because pluto is small but it has it's very powerful but in the size you know jupiter and saturn are the biggest planets so um, they are direct in capricorn so uh, the door is widening, you know. Whew. We used to be like, okay, we have to go through this. Now it's like we have more room, more hope. It's a little bit lighter, right? So you guys were cleaning up house, basically. Like I said, you were cleaning up house, people, things. You were identifying what was not working anymore, what was not, uh, what was working, and that you probably pushed away. And um, you have the North Node in your in your in your um, sign. Did I say this was for Gemini? I'm saying this is for Gemini. I don't know if I said it. So you have the North Node in your sign, and you you have the South Node in your seventh house, obviously. And it's a Sag. So yeah, your old ways. You're done with it. You're done with it. You know. The North Node is pushing you towards that, and it's not easy when the North Node is in your sign because it wants to push you. It, want you, it wants you to try, you know? But again, free will, right? So let's see what comes out for you guys. I have some ast astrology cards. This is the Numinous deck. And then I have the astrology cards. Then I have some tarot to uh, clarify. And then I have a lot of oracles here. Let's see. I will tell you what cards I'm using as we go along. So let's see. Spirit, what do I have for Gemini, please? What is the energy around them? I forgot to tell you guys. This is the energy around you that you can tap into to manifest your deepest heart desires, okay? Always for the greater good of everyone involved, right? Okay, I don't know why I'm laughing. But anyway, your ruler Mercury is in Libra retrograde. So what is Libra? Libra is your fifth house. Hmm. So passion. Yeah, things have, you might have, that excitement might have just like, you know, slowed down a little bit. The one, you know, that excitement you felt in the beginning and, you know, of, of September, like I, as I was saying in your reading. But also, um, this is the time to see the work you've done, you know, and evaluate it. Okay? Mercury's in Libra. It has to maybe to do with your relationships. See, like, how it's affected you, uh, you know, you cleaning up. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. Or maybe some people might come want to come back, but don't let, if, if you cleaned it up, it's for a reason. They might want to come back, you know? Hear them out. Go with the flow. Trying. Go with the flow, Gemini, okay? Trines are about flow. It says harmonize, aids, enriches, benefits, energizes, enjoys, eases, lubricates lubricates gifts rhymes supports indulges just go with the flow gemini i feel like you've done so much 
you know, like I was saying, you guys have really, you, you really like switched it up, you know, new sheriff in town. So take a breather, nourish yourself, enjoy, enjoy the work you've done. Okay. So the energy around you, pretty much Gemini is flow, 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 flow. Take a breather. Okay. Take a breather. The energy around you basically is very good. Very, very good. Play. You are like the kid, right? Gemini is very childlike, so take a breather. Play a little bit. You deserve it. Okay? All right. These are the house astrology, uh, sorry, astrology cards. And they have the house, the planets, and the zodiac. We'll see what comes out for you. One flipped already. Libra. What did I say? Mercury's in Libra. Retrograde. Right? So whoever is coming back or whatever is coming at you, the conversation, the call, the email. Relax, Gemini. Don't be too ballsy. Don't be like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, this is, yeah, new sheriff in town. You know, no, no, no. Chill. Go with the flow the flow okay it says this energy is diplomatic gracious it seeks harmony and balance in relationships you will know let spirit guide you okay follow your intuition don't take it so seriously don't just like put up the wall immediately you never know Okay, it could be an old boss that calls you, that fired you. And you're like, I'm not picking that up. Pick up the phone, Gemini. Pick up the phone. You never know. That kind of, you know, energy I'm feeling here. So let's get a card from the tarot. Just one spirit. This is the Los Carabero Mini Travel Side Tarot. Okay. Flow and harmony and diplomacy. That's the energy around you. Okay. Siri, what do I have for Gemini, please? Just one card to clarify all this. To see what we're really talking about. So we have the Ten of Swords. But it's reversed. Like I said, I feel, like because Mercury is your ruler, somebody who hurt you is coming back. And because you've been cleaning up, I think the big challenge is coming up right now. I think the stuff you've been doing was preparing you for this one. This is the person that really, really is going to be very challenging for you to deal with diplomacy flow all that cleaning up of people you've been doing was to lead you to this one to see how are you gonna handle this one they're coming back this is an ending of a really tough cycle of betrayal of abuse of unfairness of pain it's not finished. It's coming back. Ten of Swords. And it's coming via communication. Like I said, mail. Some sort of communication, basically. And it's a relationship. Well, it has to be, right? Because, I mean, only people talk, right? <laughs> so, it's either a lover an ex-husband, an ex-wife, who knows, a boss, uh, anybody, but they really hurt you, they betrayed you, they're coming back, and this is the test, how are you going to handle it, I ask you, Gemini, okay, all right, let's get a life work proposal, this is it, Light workers oracle spirit, Alana Fairchild. What happened to Pisces? Uh, 
Hmm, maybe it's a Pisces. What do you have for Gemini? Could be a Pis Pisces, <laughs> a Libra, or a Leo. Could be anybody. Okay. All right. What do we have for Gemini, please, Spirit? We did have that full moon in Pisces. Maybe that person, the Pisces, that full moon, it hit them how they weren't fair to you. And they are coming back to make amends. Remember, it takes a lot for somebody to come back and admit their wrongdoings. So that's why you definitely have to put yourself in their shoes, no matter how much they hurt you, okay? All right. Spirit, what do we have for Gemini? Be cool, Gemini. Be cool. Be cool. Initiation by air. You are all about the air. Let's see what it says. 24, 6, <laughs> harmony and flow. And balance. So, initiation by air. We're just going to read the first paragraph. You have a strong and powerful mind. Yeah, you do, Gemini. You have two of them. The mind can be a great asset. It can bring comfort, peace, and strength as you take your spiritual journey. It can also be a dark and destructive force. Yeah, that's that twin energy. And that's you guys. It can also be a dark and destructive force undermining your power, making you doubt your own heart, and keeping you trapped in fear. The mind developed without a loving spiritual practice can be a frightening weapon rather than a liberating sword. How will you choose to use your mind power? I'll tell you how. With your heart. Use your mind with your heart. And that's the flow. Okay? And that's the flow. Who's the ruler of Libra? Venus. Love. Heart chakra. Use your mind with your heart. If that makes any sense for you. Okay, Gemini? All right. Which is compassion. And graciousness. All right, let's get a um, Keepers of Delight for you guys, and then we'll get, I'll tell you the cards as we go along. Keepers of Delight. This is like the cards, these are the cards that uh, represent the master teachers, the gurus, the saints, people have, that have been here before, but that have ascended to a higher realm because they have finished their work here on Earth. Some of them might have been reincarnated again. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know everything. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Please, spirit. What is the energy right around them? Who's here to help them with that energy? And to communicate with them somehow? Or to be a role model to, for them? See, you're being tested here. Like I told you guys, it's a new you, it's a new sheriff. That was the initiation. But the real initiation begins now to see if, because you guys are very anxious and it's because you're air and you're twins, you're two. It can be very intense, anxiety, uh, conniving. You know, you guys can be very conniving. You guys can think you're smarter than everyone. That's what changed. But the real test is coming now. With this person and I told I tell you guys this person really really did something really uh, ooh, to you they really really hurt you but you can handle it Gemini it's an initiation always remember everything that happens is for a reason okay for a reason as long as you know that you know you have to tap back into your spirituality that's what it was saying here that's the only way that your mind can can be positive positive can be got a weapon but not of destruction but a weapon that helps you evolve not a weapon, but an asset, basically. Because a weapon is a weapon, right? 
It's not here to, 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 sorry, that was, flowers are like tickling me. It's not something you use to like caress someone. A weapon is a weapon, right? It's here to hurt and destroy, you know, just like these swords, okay? So use your mind as an asset, not a weapon. That's that flow, that harmony, and that graciousness. All right, spirit. There we go. <clears throat> Increased awareness. When I was saying the master teaching, I wanted to say Buddha and Jesus. And Buddha came. Master Buddha. <laughs> Be Buddha. That's flow all day and harmony. Deep connection. Deep connection, trust your inner voice. There's a lot of air. You're all over here. Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Initiation by air. Awareness, the mind. But the mind connected to the soul. Okay? That's awareness. That's what I'm saying. Use your mind and your soul, not just your mind. That's awareness. Awareness is the soul, the you know, and the mind. The soul, the heart, and the mind. So use your mind with your heart, like I said. Right? Again, deep connection. Trust your inner voice. What's the inner voice? It's your soul. Okay? Beautiful. And I think you've been doing that. I repeat, the big test is coming now. To see if you've passed. <laughs> Life is a test, you guys. But guess what? If you pass this, you're on our way to, because the North Node is in your sign. Which is, uh, for me, the North Node is a quest. And not everybody arrives there in one lifetime or some of people are here many many lifetime and never never <clears throat> get to their note well you, <clears throat> your note note is your destiny basically some of them fail and have to come back some do you know make it but then they still have to come it's like the note note is something not something you achieve in a lifetime you know what i mean it's almost like exams that's what the north node represents for me so <sighs> gemini this is just another test and off you go your merry way to the next quest just take it like that don't worry two cards i just want one thank you okay let's see I saw validation and direction. They came back again. So these are your cards. Did you see me shuffle? Okay. I don't know what to say. Whew. Validate. I just have shivers. Validation, which is a 51. Six again. Balance. You have initiation by air. <clears throat> and the six which is validation like i told you guys this is the test you are being initiated what is validation here i'm sure the book is going to say like seeking validation maybe or whatever but for me this is saying you pass if you this if you finish this test off you go to your neck quest you get validation from spirit then you have direction which is a seven sorry an eight expansion direction and then you can turn the wheel and off you go to the next quest like i said you know it will put you on that next path let's read that's crazy how i shuffled and they came back out this is it that means these are your cards let's start with validation 51 which is six which is balance As I open to all that is, I am validated by the kiss of the sun upon my face, the rustle of the wind through my hair, 
the strength of the earth beneath my feet and the gift of life that flows into my crown. I am loved. I am love. That means that validation is within you. It's around you and it's not you it's not people you know what I mean it's you validated by the kiss of the Sun it's you validated by the rustle of the wind through your hair it is you validated by the earth beneath your feet it is the gift of life that flows into your crown that is your validation basically it's knowing who you are okay it's a balance and harmony And only that way are you unfazed by everything around you. And I know it's hard because this world, man, woof. But maybe that's the energy that, that is here for you. Because remember, it's a six and the initiation by error is a six. That is what you're going to gain. Validation from spirit. Didn't I say that before I read it? I thought it was going to say something like, yeah, looking for validation people. But it went straight to the point what I was saying. You will be validated by spirit, by God, by source by the energies around. And this is an energy reading. Excited. So excited. Okay, 26 direction. Let's see. East, south, west, and north. Each a destination with its own reward. May my internal compass be that which leads the way. The east holds the power of air the south holds the power of fire, the west holds the power of water, and the north holds the power of earth. Again, balance. Isn't that funny how the validation talked about the earth, the wind, and the air, and all that stuff? You are definitely... The energy around you is shifting and then we saw that in your old reading and this is like the wheel north north south west to me right north south whatever north south west east right this is the circle of life this is balance this is being one with the universe being whole being harmonized being in harmony okay and this is that validation and I'm telling you guys, when you're in this state, nothing can phase you. Because you don't let these ten swords come. Because you have your one sword of truth. Of truth. Pure truth. Archangel Michael that counteracts all that. And that's the initiation by air. <clears throat> that is you there with your sword. But your sword of truth. And what is truth? It's your soul's truth. Beautiful. Everybody's graduating anyway, because that's what this whole thing is about. Thing, the thing, the thing. 2020 is about graduation for you guys. 2020 balance. It's graduation time. And you're, you can graduate early, basically. Aquarius as well. Oh, my God, they're reading. You air signs are on fire right now. Fire. I think your biggest challenge is not to let your mind mess it up, basically. Let's get a universe as your back. For Gemini, you guys are on fire. I don't know if I haven't done Libra yet. I'm not sure. I did. I just did Aquarius. It was like whew, some other level stuff, though. They were like, I mean, it was almost like it was like a reading, the upgrade, but they had the North Node, so it's like they were on some other stuff. Okay, let's see what we have for you to finish it off. This beautiful reading, very very. It's not stress. It's just like, I feel so relaxed. The energy here is like, the energy of, it's so gracious and harmonious here. But it's up to you though. It's up to you. Just one card, please, Spirit. 
Let me see what it is. Sometimes, you know, just like those two cards came back out. Well, listen. Not only do you have in the bottom, the universe has your back, right? Of course it does because we have this direction, which is the four, you know, corners of like east, south, west, whatever, whatever, north. Then we had that, all those like the air, the water, you know, all the elements. So definitely the universe has your back. And then we have here, I am unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what it, I focus on will grow. If you focus on flow, that's what you get. If you focus on stress, that's what you get. Remember, this is that co-create with spirit. Spirit only wants the best for you. Spirit is constantly wanting to upgrade you. I just, one, four, 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 the angels. They want to give you this new beginning, this initiation here. This is the final test. This person coming back. I am a spirit having a human experience and I am here to get closer to love. What is that? That's that con continual exam. We get, we, get, we get the exam, we pass, we get closer. This here, love, is not love of love. Like, I love this guy, I love this girl, I love whatever. No, this is the universal love. This is the love with the big L, which is God which is higher consciousness, your higher self. <clears throat> okay, Gemini, please pass the test. Please, Gemini. And remember, <sighs> diplomacy, graciousness, balance, and flow. Please, Gemini, you're so close. Okay? Okay. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please uh, check out everything down below. All the info's there if you want to donate and all that stuff. Okay? I love you guys. Take care, Gemini. Bye.